Hey guys, it's Beanie Boo Wolf and welcome back to another video. So do you really want to make a Beanie Boo series but you just don't know where to start, you don't know what to do, and you're worried that people aren't going to watch it? Well, you came to the right place because in today's video I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to have a good Beanie Boo series. Tip number one, have a good storyline and make sure it's original. I've noticed a lot of people make a Beanie Boo series by just copying the idea of one that already exists. And if you want to have a good series, then don't do that. Here's why. One, it's downright rude to the original creator, because how would you feel if you made an original Beanie Boo series and people just copied it and stole your idea? Probably doesn't feel good, huh? Two, if you make an unoriginal series, people are probably not gonna watch it since it's just a copy of a previous one. Three, when you copy someone, you get hate, and nobody likes getting hate, so be original. Maybe taking a little bit of inspiration is okay, but don't go overboard with it. And also, I recommend making your series very intriguing. If you add a little bit of drama and suspense to your series, then that'll get people interested. Tip number two, have good characters. I recommend making your characters all have different and unique personalities. Don't make them all the same. Like, don't make the same mistake that I did. So you may or may not know about my first Beanie Boo series that I did. It's called Shadow Lake, and it's basically about a group of friends that go on a camping trip, but it does not go as expected. And that series had a lot of mistakes to it, and one of the biggest mistakes was that a lot of the characters acted the same. Some of them had different personalities, but a majority of them were practically the same. Tip number three, have good setups. So let's say in your series, one of the scenes is filmed in, I don't know, a bedroom. And I've noticed a lot of people tend to do this. I have noticed a ton of people often film in the most random places possible. Like, does this look like a bedroom to you? No, it literally just looks like my floor. And that doesn't look right. It looks very unprofessional and also very off-putting. Trust me, you do not want this. You're gonna want something more like this. This is a pretty standard Beanie Boo bedroom, but it's a lot better than just some random spot on your floor or something. And some of you guys may be wondering, how do you make this? There are a lot of helpful tutorials on YouTube on how to make Beanie Boo bedrooms or like miniature props for Beanie Boos. I recommend checking those out because they are very helpful. Tip number four, end each episode on a cliffhanger. Cliffhangers will make your series a lot more intriguing and it'll make your audience a lot more excited and curious about the next episode. So in Shadow Lake, my previous Beanie Boo series, I always ended each episode on a cliffhanger. And it worked. A lot of people got really excited and really interested in what would happen next. And not only that, if you end your episodes on cliffhangers, you will gain subscribers from it because people will subscribe wondering what will happen next. And I know that pretty much every single growing YouTube channel wants subscribers because, well, this is YouTube. Tip number five, make sure your series is planned out. In my previous Beanie Boo series, I did not plan things out. The only episode that was scripted and planned out was the first one. But then from there, I just kind of like made up the story as I went. And that resulted in it being really messy. Making up the story as you go isn't always a bad thing. Just don't do it too much in your series. Otherwise, it'll end up really messy. It's just recommended that you at least have a solid plan for your series because the last thing you want is an unorganized storyline. So yeah guys, those right there were my tips on how to make a good Beanie Boo series. And I really hope that these tips helped those who needed it because I know a lot of people have been asking for this video and I hope it was helpful. And for everyone watching this who's going to make a series, then I wish you the best of luck and I hope you have fun making it.